is amazing. I was surprised to find out that this is not a AAA game. Instead, it's just AA. That's mighty impressive, because it definitely is high quality. You start the game by creating your own character. Customization options here are pretty good, then you proceed further into the story. The story is that humans didn't care enough to get rid of pollution on the planet, so the pollution almost destroyed the planet. They build spaceships called arcs and fled the planet. Now mutated animals from the world. And there are two main stories in the game. In one, you need to defeat the world eaters to save the planet. And get on an arc to leave the planet. Because you don't want to live on this planet anymore. And in another one, you choose what happens to the tribes. The mutated animals in the game build civilizations. One tribe says that natural selection should let only the strongest survive. While the Sifu, the other tribe, say that tribes should work together and live in peace and harmony. You take one side and progress through the story. The decisions you make are told to you via a devil and an angel that appear after making a decision. The story is good and has some memorable moments and some memorable characters, but somehow it also felt a little uncohesive. The game also has side quests, but they are generally boring. They revolve around fetch quests. It's nice that they give you more stuff to do in the game, but just getting a game more lengthy by uninteresting stuff isn't that praiseworthy. I mean, take The Witcher 3 for example. Each side quest there brought a new narrative. Side quests in Biomutant on the other hand just tell you to go collect something. To get in the end to an uninteresting cutscene. It's, it's just too much work for just one uninteresting cutscene. But even if the story is a mixed bag, it's good. It could be better, but it's still good. I mean, I, I can't say it's a bad story. It's just that it could have been better. And also, the story is just the secondary thing that you care in a game. Because in a game, the most important part is the gameplay. And in gameplay, it definitely is amazing. There are so many gameplay mechanics in the game that there is so much depth to it that the first hour you play will be a long streak of tutorials. You have combos, you have abilities, you can buy enhancements for your character, you have stat points, clothes and weapons. In armor and weapons you can customize components to upgrade your gear, you get multiple mounts, by roaming the world you can find different sorts of beasts that you can ride, those are the mounts, and there's a generous list of different mounts you can ride, and even more than that, you get vehicles like this huge robot, a jet ski, and a hand. The game is crazy in gameplay mechanics, and it does a great job at keeping the formula fresh in the main story, and also each gameplay mechanic feels good, which is rare to see in video games that try to integrate so much as Biomutant. The world is huge and has visual diversity, there are collectibles to be found while you free roam, and there are also plenty of side quests you can tackle. All in all, the game is amazing, and one that you most probably won't regret buying. I don't consider it a masterpiece, it still has some shortcomings in the story and content, but it sure is an amazing game to play.